Let's take a look at a super awesome light mod. Already tested it. It costs less than 50 cents and less than five minutes to make. Let's first talk about the material. And by the way, instead of actually using copper wire, you could actually cut up pieces of coat hanger. And you will need uh, the best stuff in the world. I, I never buy regular duct tape. And gaff tape doesn't actually hold that well. It's industrial strength uh, 3M. They just call it tough duct tape. You can get this at the hardware store. You can get wire at the hardware store. They also sell uh, rolls of industrial strength hook and loops, which you can actually see here is the rough side and there's the fuzzy side. And then this stuff. Now they make it various different sizes. They make big tall rolls. And this is the cheapest one. And this is half of what's left. And this was a $15 roll. So 15 bucks gets you twice as much of this stuff. It's called Reflectix. You can get it at Lowe's or Home Depot. Reflectix. 15 bucks. What's so great about this stuff? It doesn't weigh anything. Water and rain won't damage it. It folds flat. You can keep folding it over again. In the prior video, I showed you this macro light mod. Okay, so next I should take a look at this light mod. And of course, you're going to have to have uh, hook and loops on your speed lights. And here we go, right here. Kind of tacky? Yeah, well, it'll fold completely flat in your camera bag. The only thing I actually added to the back of it was three wires one right here one right here and that one that actually curves around the back so when i'm done with it i can completely flatten it out i can shape it however i want yeah fold completely flat in your camera bag you can actually even wad it up literally also too yeah the wonderful property about this as I shine it into the light here, as you can actually see, this is basically a mylar on either side with this nearly unpoppable, it basically is unpoppable, bubble wrap inside. It's actually used for insulation in houses and stuff, and also two RVs and campers, uh, if you wanna be insulated against the cold. Is that the reflective nature of this because of the individual little bubbles on it, as you can see here, let me actually zoom in. The individual, it leaves this mottled finish, which actually makes Really, really beautiful effing lighting. I mean, seriously. You can actually see it here, the little individual circular bubbles. There's the this side, and then there's the puffy side. Um, one side's actually flatter than the other side. The inside of it is more, uh, got little uh, puffy convex bubbles all over it. So use the puffy convex bubble side to the face inside, and then this is it. Is this kind of ugly? It costs 50 cents and five minutes to make, and it's better than anything you could buy at B&H Photo or Autorama or anywhere. Yes, let me repeat that. 50 cents and five minutes, and it'll work better than any crap. And also, too, there's no uh, scoop lights on eBay or Autorama or B&H that actually have this beautiful reflect. Everything's about lighting. Actually, everything's about lighting control. First, everything's about lighting, and everything's about lighting control. And third aspect, well, third aspect's power, but the fourth aspect is the type of lighting. And the actual beautiful sort of diffuse um, light this actually gives you because of that uh, mottled surface. It basically looks like silver water, doesn't it? Yeah? You actually can't buy this sort of uh, surface off of a uh, scoop reflector anywhere off of uh, B&H or Autorama or anywhere else. I said you could make this any shape you want. You could do it for macro up close. You could actually set it like this on a light stand uh, for macro. Give you a nice uh, diffuse. This is this is awesome. Like I said, let me see if I can lay it flat with one hand here. I'm not going to be able to completely smush it flat, but like I said, there's just, here we go. There's just three wires back here. You see where the wires are? I just used the industrial duct tape to tape at the back here. It won't ever move. Not with everybody should own. Not duct tape. Get the tough, I think 3M calls it tough duct tape. And it has this uh, dark gray finish to it. And It'll have a black wrapper on it at Lowe's or Home Depot. It's just called Tough Duct Tape, yeah? There we go. And if you don't want to go buy some copper wire, because this stuff is thinner, you could just use coat hangers. Cut out uh, the, the bottom section of a coat hanger. But this is epic. You can't buy it, and it's as good as it gets. Believe it or not, the best light mods are not those that can be bought, but the ones that are made. Um... I've uh, seen some of the best photographers in the world. My uh, favorite uh, photographer, whose name escapes me because I can never remember names, 
Um, oh, God. He died of cancer. He had a mustache. I saw him back in photography school. I mean, most of his light mods were DIY. I mean, he had all the camera equipment in the world. Just because you got the money and you've got the big clients doesn't mean that, uh, you know, you have to buy your light mods. The best ones are DIYs, so... God, what is his name? Dean Collins. Damn, I forget everybody's name. Dean Collins. Damn, why do I forget everybody's name? I got a thing with names. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this light mod. Yeah, it's just, it's just a Godox 685 speed light. Attach it to any speed light. Instead of just the hook and loops here that are holding it on the speed light. Thanks for watching. Bye.